We're now going to be looking at the turning the road exercise. Remember, I'm going to make a fault and I will show you the correct way later. Did you identify the fault? The first fault when I went to move away from position A to position B, I did some dry steering. In other words, I turned the steering wheel without the vehicle moving. I also indicated right as if I was going to make a right turn. When I approached the curb at point B, I began to turn the wheel back to the left too early, again doing some dry steering. And I did touch the curb on the forward leg because I wasn't looking for the reference point to judge where the curb was. When I started to reverse, the vehicle started to move. It moved back maybe a couple of feet before I looked over my left shoulder. I should be looking over the left shoulder before I start to reverse the vehicle. And equally, as I approached the curb at point C, I didn't look over my right shoulder to judge where the curb was. So again, I hit the curb on the reverse leg. Again, when I went to move forward then after the reverse part of the exercise to the final point, again, some dry steering went on. It isn't appropriate to turn the wheel without the vehicle moving. It may damage the tyres of the vehicle. I'm now going to show you the correct way of how to do the turn in the road. Identify the difference. So as I was moving off from position A, had a good look around, nobody was about, so the manoeuvre was safe to do. On this manoeuvre, the turn in the road, nobody's ever going to benefit a signal. If there's anybody about, all we're going to do is wait patiently until they move off. If we did give a signal, it could be a misleading signal, they're going to expect us to be turning right or moving off. The danger there is the car could go into the side of our car. Also, when I moved off from position A to position B, there was no dry steering. Dry steering can damage your tyres, also damage the steering column. On the approach to position B, keeping the car at the slow moving pace, turning the wheels to the opposite direction before we reach position B to help us with the next bit of the manoeuvre. As I, before I moved off from position B to position C, having a good look around, taking effective observations, making sure the clutch is on the bike so we don't roll with the camber of the, of the road. Also looking over the left shoulder before we move. As we're moving, again, looking up and down the road, taking effects of observations, main dangers out the back. Again, as we're approaching position C, looking over the right shoulder as we're turning the steering wheel to help us with the next bit of the manoeuvre. Securing the car with a handbrake, looking up and down the road again, taking effective observations, being prepared to move off to position D, where we're running parallel with the kerb. Making sure on the width of the road, we can actually get round in three manoeuvres, okay? This is called a turn in the road, not a three point turn. It will take as much manoeuvre, could take three, five or seven. 
depending on the width of the road.